watch a live stream, which means you're really kind of behind the scenes here because these lessons are usually watched in the archives, but you're here for the live taping of them. So if we mess up really bad, we're probably going to chop that out, but you're going to get to see all of our bloopers and mistakes. We'll also chop this off so no one is going to see this part of the lesson but you. And because you're behind the scenes, you're probably going to ignore my instructions when I say, like, pause the video and go practice or whatever. You can if you want. It's just that you, everyone in the chat room, then will be in different places in the video. That's fine. When you want to join us live again, go down to the bottom of the video, click on the live button, and that should take you straight to where we actually are now. So now here comes the part for everybody else. I'm really glad you're with us. The archives are fine, but my favorite is talking to you live. So see you in the chat room. <clears throat> Welcome back to KidsLearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and as you can tell from the countdown clock here, the lesson is about to begin. If this is your first time playing piano, welcome. I'm very excited for you. You're going to do great. Hopefully you already received from us the welcome packet in the mail, and maybe you even got started on the Absolute Beginners video pack to teach you the names of the notes and things like that. But if not, that's fine, you'll do great. I'll show you how to play all the notes. And if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause the video or rewind it and go for the more difficult parts. You can always pause the video or rewind it and go for the more difficult parts. And even if you only learn a little bit of this song and you don't learn the whole thing, you'll still learn enough to help you build skills so you can learn other songs faster in the future. So jump in, give it a try. You're bound to end up at least a little bit better than you even are right now. Throughout the lesson, I may refer to Klopple Academy, and you can check out that link on the website if you want. Basically, it's a program that takes you all the way from like learning the names of the notes, the very beginning, through 12 levels of classical and jazz music, through all the skills that you would need to become a professional pianist. So you would learn all the same stuff that you would learn if you were taking regular traditional piano lessons, probably plus a little bit more. But it takes about five to 10 years to complete. So you can just try out the first level, see if it's the kind of thing that you like. Or if you just care about today's lesson and learning this song, then just ignore all those references and focus on today's lesson. If you're watching this at LearnPianoLive.com, there should be a PDF and an MP3 button right next to this video. The MP3 is a play-along track that you can use to practice more after the lesson, but a lot of students like to print out the PDF right now so they have it during the lesson. Careful, it could be up to like 30 pages, so just find the couple pages that you want and print those out. If you decide not to, that's fine. I'll show you all of the notes on screen as we go through it. And we will be going through five different levels of this song that all use the same play-along track. So. Even if you've never played piano before, you'll still be able to do level one. And then as we go through level two, three, four, and five, then when we use that same play along track, you just keep playing your same version. If you're watching this lesson in the archives and you have a question during the lesson, then feel free to click on that survey button. And at the end of the survey, there's a place for you to ask your question and I will do my best to get back to you with the answer to that question. But if you're with us live as we're recording this today, then feel free to click on that chat button and you can talk with all the other students who are logged in during the live lesson. And if you have a question about the lesson, then you can just go ahead and type that into the box that says, ask Jamin a question and we will do our best to answer that question live in the lesson. All right, I think that's the end of the boring stuff. I'm ready to learn a song. Stay tuned at the end of the lesson and I'll show you how to win more points and earn more prizes next week. But for right now, let's get this party started. Welcome back to KidsLearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and this is Nifty Nika. She is super nifty, and she's going to be learning the song right along with you for the very first time. And over here, we have our chat moderator, the incomparable Kendra. Guess what? Um, I think it was like yesterday, two days ago. I don't know. I got to open for Miss Jessica Malone. Oh, yes. And it was amazing. Yes. I had so much fun. Wait, hang on. Open yeah. means? Like perform before. Yes. So like, you played a bunch of music on stage yeah, and then she and came she, up afterwards. Yes. And she was like the main act and she's like so talented and That's it was the coolest. Cool. That is yeah. pretty cool. Nice. 
Well, we've got a, a really long song today that we're going to do a chunk of, and I'm sure Kloppel is going to want us to uh, hurry things along. So we'll get right into it. I want to show you what this thing sounds like. And uh, let's let, go ahead and I, I'm going to play this uh, with the track for you. Is Kloppel here today? No. no, he's not? I don't think so. Oh. At least not right now. Not right now. Later, maybe. maybe. showing up late. Hey, that, maybe that means we get some extra time. Okay. So I'm going to play this along with the track for you. And then Nifty Nika, you can just watch here. You don't have to actually play any of these notes, but I'll play I'll play them for you. Here we go. This is what it's going to sound like eventually. We're going to start on this note and we're going to go You can do that. I think I can do part of it. Yes, that's perfect. That's a perfect answer. I think I can do part of it. That's all we got to do. So let's go ahead and check out the PDF here. We'll learn this together. The first note that we need is an E. So I'm going to use this E right here. The way I found this was I took a group of two black notes. So you need to find your own set of two black notes somewhere up in here. That totally works. So you didn't pick a group of three. That was good. You picked a group of two, just like that. And then take the one that's on that side, like that, and drag it up. And you'll land on an E every single time. Drag it up? Yeah, yeah, like drag it that way just a little bit. So you just like try to find the white note that's closest by. by drag it up. Oh, up that way. Yeah, no, I meant like up that way. Because on piano, that's up and that's down. Yeah. yeah. Good call. Yeah, okay. So then we would land on that note right there. And that note is an E every single time for every group of two. So as long as you find a group of two, you can't mess it up. You'll land on an E every single time. And we're going to play that twice. And we're going to say, Mama. Yes, cool. And we're going to say it out loud. Ready, go. Mama. Yeah, cool. And then we want to find a C. So the letters don't matter very much here. We're just going to skip over this note right here and land on that one. Yeah, so that's the one that's just. Got it? Here we go. Mama, go. Mama. And then just. Yes, cool. And then the next ones are kick to man. So we're going to go one note to the right and land on a D. Uh-huh. And then back to those E's again two E's in a row. Let's try just that much. Let's try that with the track, actually. Um, so get ready on that. There's a big, long pause after Mama. Here we go. I'll show you. And a two. And a one, two. Ready, go. Mama. And then none of the C. Just kicked a man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got it. Cool. And hopefully at home, you're uh, playing along with us. And if you need to pause and practice, that's fine too. Um, we're going to go back to that D at the end. And this D right there, that's the one that's just to the other side of it. Yeah, we're going to play that one. And then up, up to the E again. And then up to an F. And the F is the word boot. Yeah? Uh-huh. So we're going to play all three of those. Yes, so if we try that, we would land on, let's just play it you and me, ready? Here we go, and you can play along with us, but we'll try the mama, ready, go. Mama, uh-huh, and then just kicked a man, uh-huh, and then put a boot, uh-huh, cool. And we need to go one more up before we walk it all the way down to D. So we're gonna go one more up, uh-huh, and then down, 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 all the way until we land on D. Yeah, cool. Every single note. So go back up to this G right here. That was great. And then we would go one down, one down, one down. Yep. And then do the exact same thing all the way up to G and all the way back down. So that's this one right here. Least it was and on. Oh, back down. Uh-huh. Back down. Uh-huh. That's it. So we just got to kind of go from D up to G and back that kind of happens a couple times. Yes, wonderful. When you go up to the G, you don't repeat the G. That G only happens once. So we go D, up to G. Yeah, but don't repeat the G. Only one of them when you get up there. Okay. You're doing great. Exactly. And then do that same exact thing twice in a row. Yes, by the way, in case you're following along with us on your PDF, that from right there to right there 
is the same exact thing as from right there to right there. That's that D up to G and walk it back down. D up to G and walk it back down. Think you can do that? Okay, so everyone at home is going to pause and practice so they can be ready for those first two lines. We're going to try the first two lines together when they come back. And uh, if everyone just work on the notes that you got, if you only can play the first two notes, cool. If you play the first three, great. Whatever you do, you've got, then practice that. Let's go. And a two. And a one, two. Ready, go. Mama, and down to that C. Just kicked a man. Uh-huh. Put a boot. Put a boot against his shin. Least it wasn't on his chin. That's it. And then, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, nice work, cool. So then the next one's got the same thing. It's got, whoa, hang on. You were way ahead. Good work. So then uh, we've got two E's and then a big long break, just like the, the mama part. Poor guys. Day had just, right there, is going to be that first note and then skip over a note and then skip over a note. You try, find that E that we started with, uh-huh, and then skip up and then skip, uh-huh, and then just land one down from there. Uh-huh, yeah, so we're gonna go from that E to skip, to skip, and then down one, and actually play that again, because there's two of them. Yeah, and that's the, uh-huh, yes. That's it, day had just begun. Oh my goodness, you're good. Okay, so everybody at home, pausing and practicing wherever you need to. And when you come back, just play your own version, whatever notes you have. Play all the ones you can. Don't worry about the rest. Let's go. And a two. And a one, two. Ready, go. Mama just kicked a man. Put a boot against his shin. At least it wasn't on his chin. Poor guys, day had just begun. Yeah, and then we have one last line that has a bunch of C's in it. So we just stopped right there. Yep, cool. And then we're gonna play that A again and say, but, ha <laughs> ha, sorry. <laughs> but, uh-huh, and then we're gonna go two notes up from there and that's a C and we're gonna play five of those all in a row. Now she's gone and thrown. Skip down. Skip down. Step down. Step down. Yes, and when I played it, I stepped down one more time at the very, very end because I feel, think it feels good to end on a C. So I like to go down one more after that. But that one's not on the page. That's just sitting right there. So that's the C. Whew. You got it? <sighs> uh-huh. Yeah, oh, you want to do the whole thing? Yes, uh-huh. Kick to man, uh-huh. Put, uh -huh. boot against his shin. At least it wasn't on his chin, uh-huh. And then poor guy, poor guy's day had just begun. Oh, that's one the one where we step down. Remember, we skip, skip, and then step down. Day had just begun, uh-huh, but, and then skip up, now, uh-oh, uh-oh. Klopp was saying that we're running out of time, we gotta hurry up with this thing. It's a really long song with a lot of different parts, but anyway, we can we can finish this off. Back to the seas. Gone and now she's thrown, uh-huh, then skip down, skip, skip, step, step. And if I were you, I would step one more time after that to end the song. Yeah, put that C at the very, very end of it. Okay, so let's try all of that. Make sure you're pausing and practicing at home, whatever you need. And then when you come back, just play the notes that you can. And don't worry about the rest. Just everyone playing their own version. One and a two and a one, two. Ready, go. Mama just kicked a man. Put a boot against his shin. At least it wasn't on his chin. Poor guys. Day had just begun. Nice work! But now she's gone and thrown it all away. And then we're getting on a C and... Nifty, Nika. That was super nifty. 
I wish we had more time to practice it more. We'll be able to practice more on level two, three, four, and five. But for right now, Kendra's going to tell us about our weekly activity. This week is the Mandy Land, and it's a game just like Candy Land, but of course with Clawful and his friends. When you play, just tag Learn Piano Live when you post a picture on Facebook or Instagram for 150 bonus points this week from our mascot, Penguin Clawful. That is a fun one. I like that a whole lot. Well, it's time for our weekly, weekly, what is that called? Our lick of the day. It's time for that thing, our feature of the day, which is a lick of the day. This one is super complicated. I don't think we've ever had a lick of the day that was so hard, but it's also going to sound really, really cool. So um, this is kind of advanced. You'll probably need to pause and practice lots of sections of this. Um, but we're going to start with these three notes right here. So this is an F and a B flat and a D. Okay, so once you have an F and a B flat and a D, we're gonna play them all at the same time. And then one at a time. We're almost there, we only have one, two, three, four, three or four more notes. So we're gonna play those three together. Again, make sure you pause and practice so you can get all that. And then we're gonna play it all together and then one at a time. And then we gotta stretch way up to this note right here, which is a G, and then we're going to play an F. I told you there were three or four more notes. There are, but get these first two first. So we play all three of those, one at a time, and then G, F. Now, if you want to, it's an option to put this F in between the G and the F. So when you play the G, go down to F, and then F, and go down to F. If you want to do that, if you want to skip those, that's perfectly fine. So your two options are or this. And you don't have to be able to reach those at the same time. You can play that one, and then skip down, and then that one, and skip down. So even if you can't reach it, that's fine. Most people can get those three at the same time. That's all you really need to get. Now, additionally, this makes it a little bit extra long. Sorry, Clavel. But if, additionally, if you want to use your left hand and skip over here and play the high, the last two high notes, that G and the F, play the exact same notes at the exact same time. So G and F. That would sound like this. One more time. Only one last optional note. If you got all of that and you're like, yeah, what else you got? Then we can throw in a B flat down here, a really low one. And that would sound like this. And that's kind of like the most important part of Bohemian Rhapsody is playing that. So it just starts with this. If you can do that, then you've got most of it. And the rest of it will take a lot of practice. But um, I think that's it for right now, which means it's time to answer a little bit of mailbag. If you'd like to win an extra 750 points by being the mailbag winner, just fill out the survey at the end of the lesson or send us a message anytime during the week using the contact button at the top of the page. And Tu Sing says, Dear Damon, how can I win the drawing? You can win the drawing by earning a lot of points. If you want to learn how to earn a lot of points, then pay attention at the end of the lesson after I say goodbye and after the theme music is over, then I'm going to come back and tell you how to earn a whole lot of points. The more points you have, the better your chance you have at the raffle. And even if you don't win the raffle, you still keep all of your points until you win the raffle. So just keep earning those points. Even if it's slow, keep earning those points. And eventually, you will win the raffle. Everybody has to win eventually, as long as you keep getting points. So um, make sure you're paying attention at the end of the lesson. And uh, we need to tell you a couple little secrets. Secret information. today in our secret information <laughs> we've got oh yeah okay we got a couple little points here that i want to tell you not everybody has to know this um in fact most people aren't going to know this um but if you don't you can still play the song that's all right i want to show you something here we've got a couple of these here these are these things are called seven chords seven chords 
I won't be able to explain real quickly why it's called a seven chord, but generally, even the level four and the level five people are only playing three note chords like this, or like this, like this would be a two chord in level five, or it'd be a D minor in the level four stuff. But I'm gonna show you this, we're gonna add in one additional note and call that one a seven chord. So whenever you have a note uh, or a chord where it's like a note and then skip a note and skip a note and skip a note, all of them at the same time, that's called a seven chord. And we have a lot of that stuff going on in this song. One example is right here where we have a C and an A and an F and a D. All those together, that right there is called a D minor seven. Yes. And now you know why. Anytime you see a seven on a chord, it means that there's four notes in it instead of just three notes. One more thing in our top secret information folder. Oh, okay. This, yeah. So this also has to do with the chord structure. Um, and if you've paid attention to a lot of these secret informations, you'll hear this thing keep, that keeps coming up. One, six, two, five, one, six, two, five. This song has a lot of one, six, two, fives in it, which means your left hand is going to be playing. If we call this a one right here, this C, then it would be playing one and then one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's a six. And then a two would be one, two, two. And then a five would be one, two, three, four, five, five. So one, six, two, five, one, six, two, five. There are lots of songs that use this. One, six, two, five is extremely important in music. So like I said, if you pay attention to very many of these, you'll see this one, six, two, five thing showing up. And so even without like paying attention to the level four, the level five stuff, just knowing that the song is a one, six, two, five means that you already know your left hand part for it. So we could go, just go. You can already know all of the left hand just because you're playing one, six, two, five, one, six, two, five. Most people play the one, six, two, fives and they don't even know it because they don't know the secret information. So if they showed up here, they could learn that, they could earn points, they could win the raffle, maybe like you. Congratulations. Let us know what prize it is that you want. Rora, are you ready to level up? Let's do it. Let's level up. Transitioning to level two. This may be confusing to level one students, so please continue to practice the level one version or visit learnpianolive.com slash level two for a detailed explanation on how to level up. So sadly, the lesson preview has come to an end and it's time to say goodbye to everyone watching the free streams. Of course, paying subscribers at LearnPianoLive.com can continue watching this lesson and several hundred others like it in the archives. So come on over and check us out. And if you like what you saw, at least like and subscribe and then tell your friends to head on over to LearnPianoLive.com to start enjoying this journey with us.